What's up everyone? Well, thanks for joining us in today's video when we go camping with a bunch of my good friends with tons of different 4x4 truck camper vans and different kind of nomadic setups. The main goal of this trip was to get some footage of the Jeep Gladiator. So stay tuned. This Saturday, the Jeep Gladiator build series will be started and there was plenty of shenanigans that went on during this trip to capture some epic moments of the Jeep mobbing. So I hope you enjoy the video hanging with us at camp. Here we go. Oh yeah, the party's in the house. Kevin's here. Woo! We got Kevin, Nichols Auto Fab, big old Cummins, four wheel camper, towing the unicorn Jeep. We got Happy from Happy's Trails in the Sprinter and Brad in the 4x4 Sun Raider. What a crew. What a crew rolling in. <laughs> you guys can come in here if you want. Dude, what's up, buddy? Yo. Dude, that's so Ooh. sick. You want a big Rebel? Dude, that's so nice. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, dude. <laughs> what's up, brother? Kevin, don't mess around. That's so sick. He rolls through the wheels out there. How about that JK? That thing sounds like a bat out of hell. Holy shit. Oh my god. Wow, what a amazing shot. You guys aren't gonna believe that shot. I, I had him in front That thing rips. Uh, <laughs> I gotta get that. Gotta get that pop. Gotta get that top pop shot. Pop top shot. Top pop, top, pop, top, top shot. Pop top shot, top. Oh, when's he gonna have him? When's he gonna do it? Oh, there it is. Yeah! Yeah! Finally got it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, finally. Got it up. finally. <laughs> he came I've only been filming oh, you for 24 <laughs> seconds. No. <laughs> Dang, dude. What I mean, what a dream setup. Are you kidding me? That pretty cool. Yeah, that is freaking awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, worn hubs. Oh, yeah. I'll warn you. Carly. Carl. I get some footy, you know what I'm saying? B roll. Sounds like there's a party over here. LSG. <laughs> of course, everyone loved Brad's 4x4 Toyota Sun Raider conversion, as this was actually his very first trip camping in the unit. He's been building it for the past two years, and I did a couple really cool walkthrough videos, so go check those out if you want to see more of this classic. Everyone's flocked around the Sun Raider. Isn't it funny? I mean, we have like hundreds of thousands of dollars of beautiful new vehicles yeah, right, and side by sides right. and new trucks and everyone's flocked around the 80s classic that has the most blood, sweat and tears into it to be honest. And that's that's respect, man. That's just cool. Yeah, that's the same motor that's in freaking your forerunner. Oh yeah. I recognize this. You wanna know where from? Where? Brad's 4x4 Toyota Sun Raider has this same motor swapped same motor? into it. Oh, no So way. he's coming out today. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? 3,400. 4 sure cam. 4 cam. What do you say about this motor? It's down to mob. Oh, nice, dude. All right, all right. I like it. I took it driving and just going to Kevin's shop it was like 45 miles an hour, and I was Aww. like, no, no, this is not. We gotta swap that. Yeah. You knew so I was thinking, oh, I've got to do a motor rebuild. That's all I was gonna oh, do is a yeah. motor rebuild, and then yeah, this right. fell into my lap. So I was like, yeah. 450 bucks? You yeah. use the same ECU as the. Ooh, runner? look at that yeah. shot wow, through nice there. Look at the yeah. light coming in. What was the hardest part of that? That thing looks so good. Still doing the, the edging and stuff. That's freaking awesome. It's one of those things color. like I was gonna have cabinets yeah. all the way across on both sides uh -huh. for storage, and my biggest thing, if you watch that video, is weight. weight so I yeah. decided not to do it. Yeah. But now that screwed me because now I've got all these open spaces that were gonna be covered in cabinets, uh, and I don't know how to finish it. So <laughs> I'm like, oh, right, right. right. Yeah. 
I'm like, well, whatever. Yeah. I like how the bed's up wow. there. Yeah. <laughs> you got so much room in the back. Yeah. That's a really nice setup, man. Yeah, and the fridge. He's got the fridge and the passenger right seat. So you got all room for activities Nobody in the back. The fridge. What's that? She sits on the fridge on the yeah. top. And the <laughs> compost, the nature's head compost. Oh, Absolutely, yeah. I've been seeing more. Their house over here. Private cabana. Yep. Five dollar cover. That's not an awning. That's like a structure. Yeah. Dude. Dang. That's an awning. Yeah. Just you get building permits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sir. You're gonna need some permits for an awning that big. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not gonna work out. I mean, I'm a little jealous. It is definitely gonna have some space under it. No, it's a tiny home because it's got wheels, so he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> right? Yeah. My buddy Natter had his 99 Forerunner there, and we just did a full walkthrough video of his uh, budget overland camp setup. So check that out if you're interested to see that. I camped out in the A liner pop up camper trailer, and Fife borrowed the shift pod for the weekend. Yeah, Fife, what do you think of the shift pod so far? Dude, I feel like I'm on, a, on the moon. Yeah, you like it? It's you set, cool. it's you set it up roomy. pretty much on, on nice your side. <clears throat> it's actually pretty warm inside. It's cold out right now. But... Ooh, it's warm. Yeah, it, it does a good job of uh, out, insulating. But I'm excited to have this rain fly up. I should have had it up. I've had it in rain and snow, and I should have had it up in those times but welcome to my crib oh oh yeah <laughs> after you my friend jump right in yeah look at that oh, man, it's warm in here oh yeah it's super warm in here that's freaking awesome yeah that's... a couple degrees better for sure Big am difference. i wearing a hat well i am i'm wearing this nitto hat nitto hat i just yeah. realized <laughs> i'm wearing a hat <laughs> but yeah this this place is it's got a huge lot right yeah that's pretty legit you can put a tv in here you can put an oven, kitchen, whatever you want. Whatever you like. <laughs> Looks All like. these little, like, little windows, too. It's pretty cool. Yeah. The ventilation. I blew up kombucha on my pants, and it's no. fucking disgusting. Okay, no. hey, this isn't where you're sleeping tonight. You're going in the trailer. You love the trailer, though. Yeah, I love how warm it hey, is. I love the look of the chef pod. It looks futuristic. Yeah, that's what I like a lot. Futuristic. Yeah, it definitely, like, you don't want to mess with it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah. No, no you, it looks like you see, lab. You see, like, a... <laughs> Like people, sometimes tent camping, you feel a little vulnerable maybe. In the shift pod though, you're like, no, nobody's gonna mess with you, especially with all this COVID stuff. It's you're like, dang, that guy's really quarantined. <laughs> it's 5G proof. Right? Yeah, right? <laughs> and so the government can't hear your thoughts. <laughs> How'd you like your night in the shift pod? Liked it, very roomy. Pretty sweet. It was a cold night last night. I even got yeah. chilly in the trailer. But yeah, how'd you like the the cot? I just picked this bad boy up on Amazon. I'll drop that link below too. It's a 600 pound capacity. Isn't it kind of bouncy? The cot? It's like a trampoline. Yeah. <laughs> no, it seriously like, is. Like, yeah. Yeah, like it's down. really... It's strong. really like, like it's very strong. oh yeah you could easily just stand it's up really difficult until like, we figure out how to use boom i just put all my weight on that it's really difficult until we figured out how to use it Dude, yeah that latch is interesting it's not i don't know if it's the best latch but anyways it works it's a cool cot i think the shift pod's nice with the cot because it's just elevated and also you can sit on the cot like it's a it's a couch right like yeah. you could come and sit down. Oh yeah. So it can still be six feet versus apart. like a inflatable bed. I like the cot, I think. I mean you got all your shoe your boots and shoes over there. Yeah, my Yeah, I dig this thing. I uh I wanna boost it with you. Boost it with you. Hit that we boost for two. I, and I, I, I wanna boost my signal with you. <laughs> we boost. Wait, let me clean we, up. Don't look at it, Darby. Oh, don't Come look, on, don't guys. look. Ah, it's oh, dirty. Man, oh, oh, man, I forgot my bikini bottoms. Oh, let me get that oh, out of there. Yeah. Uh, Dude, we gotta, we boost. We gotta make a commercial. I, I, I wanna boost my signal with you. We boost. Get it. Get it. Boost it. You got a signal? Boost it. <laughs> Oh, it's always good times hanging out with my buddy Happy 
And my buddy Adam came with his girlfriend and they slept in their cargo trailer. It's not converted yet, but it does have a super sweet YXZ1000 inside that we took on a bunch of rips. So stay tuned for tons more content from this trip as the Jeep Gladiator build series starts this Saturday and continues every Tuesday and Saturday until completed. Right away, you'll start to see some teaser shots of us absolutely mobbing this Jeep and jumping it through the air on the new Icon suspension. Lots of epic stuff to come, so make sure you're subscribed. The only question is, are you down to mob? Woo!